Okay, so in this series, we're going to be looking at how to get started with a Cena engine. It is really simple, but powerful, making it a great choice for anyone looking to make games in Python. The aim of this series is to take things slowly and give you all the tools you need to make whatever you want in the future. Getting straight into it, in this first episode, we're going to look at the first steps of installing the engine and setting up our game window. To install the engine, we need to open up the command prompt, and then we can either type pip install Ursina, or if you want the most up-to-date version from GitHub, you can paste the following line. I'm going to put this in the description as well. Now we've got the engine installed, we can begin to look at using it in a project. Once you've opened up your editor of choice, simply type from Ursina import and then an asterisk. In order to create our window, we then need to type app equals Ursina and close that off with a pair of brackets. If we tried running this, you might notice that not much happens. This is because we still need to tell Ursina to start its main loop. To do this, just then type app dot run. As this starts the main loop of the game, nothing after this call is going to run, so it's really important to make sure it's at the end of your code. If we try running it now, you should see a window appear that looks a bit like this. If we take a closer look, you should see there are three key parts of this window that can help us as we're developing. At the top we've got the exit button, then just below it we have the frames per second counter. At the bottom, we've also got the developer tools. And if we go ahead and click it, you will see it will give us this menu here. There are plenty of useful things in this menu, but the key one I'd say is the API reference. If we go ahead and click on that, you should see uh, this web page here, which will contain a lot of useful information and examples that you can use. I cannot stress enough how useful this is, so I will put a link to the page in the description too. Moving back to our code, there might be cases when we don't want some of these features. When we build our code, these get turned off automatically, but in the meantime, we can type application.developmentMode equals false. And it's really important to make sure you put this above the first time you call Ursina. Alternatively, if you want to control these individually, say if you wanted to keep the frame counter, you can use the following lines. To finish up, there are just a few more useful controls that we have for our window. We can use window.fullscreen, then equals either true or false, to make the window full screen. And we can also use window.borderless equals and then true or false to control whether we have a border around the window or not. OK, so that's it for this first video. It's not particularly interesting so far, but we've laid the basics for next time when we can start to look at entities and actually make stuff happen in our game. I hope you found it interesting. Please feel free to leave comments with suggestions and like and subscribe. Take care guys and I'll see you in a bit.